Hey there, I'm Ashley Rowe from 7 Eyewitness News. We're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. Roswell Park is asking all employees and volunteers not to travel out of the country for work. That's to protect patients from possible exposure to the coronavirus. Any Roswell employees who traveled out of the U.S. in the last three weeks are asked to tell their supervisor. Fears over the coronavirus sent stocks into a free fall again. The Dow Jones dropped almost 1,200 points. That is the largest one day drop ever. One school superintendent has, says she is regretting canceling class today. Kimberly Moritz apologized to parents who had to skip work to care for their children who had the day off. She canceled school because of the blizzard warning from the National Weather Service. Moritz said the weather was fine and wondered where the blizzard hit. She might have regretted her decision, but parents in Springville said she was right to do so and parents all over western new york are saying the same thing but we're not out of the woods just yet more snow on the way andy parker's in the weather center that is right the whiteouts will continue for portions of the southern tier tonight although they will begin dropping down as we watch through the overnight not as much action about three to five inches of snow by the time we get to morning hours how about the morning it is an easy drive to work in school and it looks like most folks will be making that drive in the afternoon we start to see some of the lake flakes begin to fall in the south towns, even along the thruway corridor from Buffalo to Batavia, the further we get into the evening hours, the more snow that falls, especially in the closer south towns this time around, not as far south into the southern tier. North towns, here's your action from about six to eight in Niagara and Orleans County from about eight to nine in the city and it's only going to drop two to four inches of snow, but then it collects on the hills and finally after another six to eight inches in Chautauqua and Cattaraugus County, it comes to an end. So as we look at the next three days, it stays cold through Sunday.